Hey, good morning. This is Ogle's Fish Room. I'm going to try my darnest to do like a five minute or less video here. Just want to show you my uh, tanks again. Uh, some have not changed. That one hasn't changed. Not much difference there. Uh, this one I moved around a little bit and also moved one of my bettas. He's up there. It used to be over in the 5. I moved him over to the 10 last night. And he seems to be happy. He's getting old, but uh, but there's more room for him. And he is big. So, anyway, that's the 10 he's in. Okay, we'll do a close-up on him. Well, if he'll turn sideways. He's very pretty. Okay, well, maybe not. Okay, this is red, white, and blue over here. Uh one you've heard me talk about that was pure white with clear fins when I got him and look at him now anyway he's getting a little old but look how big he is he is just he's massive come on turn sideways show everybody how pretty you are well say okay that's the best I can do I'm not going to flare my fins for you but because I'm getting old and nobody pisses me off anymore so uh anyway that's his tank uh it is a 10 gallon this is the little two and a half. You have seen this before. I'm actually quite proud of this. Uh, I like the way it looks. Uh, it's got two. I took out the little tray filter. Where's the little girl? There she is. I took out the little tray filter and installed another. In other words, it has two sponge filters instead of just one. So, as you can see, plenty of agitation, plenty of filtration going on in there. And she seems quite happy. Uh, I want to kind of reiterate that it is a two and a half, and she is a little female. She does have the veil tail thing going on, but that's what she was sold at. Her cup says that, female veil tail. Never seen one before, but it just means her fins are more elongated instead of rounded like the females usually are. I think she's absolutely gorgeous. She was purchased at Pet Smart, believe it or not, for $3.99. Well, plus tax, but I'm just saying, I mean, that that's, damn, you know, that's, <laughs> that's cheap. That's a beautiful little female. Okay, that's her tank. I'm sorry, let me try to steady my hands here for you. Okay, there she is. I'll let you watch it for a second. See how pretty that tail is? The pectoral fin as well is elongated and uh, pointy, and so is the dorsal, just like a little male for a cat. Anyway, but she is a female. Well, she's gone now. Anyway, I'm very proud of her tank. I think it's very pretty. Uh, like I've tried to say before many, many times, I wouldn't put about an anything smaller than a two and a half, any better. But, uh, and some don't even want to do that. But I believe if you really scape it nice like this, this has got a lot of wood structure, a lot of places for her to hide, swim around. There's a cave there because the wood is sitting off the ground on some rocks. Uh, I use the rocks to kind of hold the sand back so I can plant there. Uh, anyway, there's a uh, java fern glued to a rock on sitting on this uh, upside down spider wood. As you can see, she looks very happy. There's, what I'm trying to say is if it's just a glass box, it's empty, which a lot of people put one freaking ornament in there and think the fish is going to feel good. That's silly. I'm sorry I'm not trying to point a finger, but damn. Anyway, if they feel natural, it doesn't matter how small the space is as long as they've got room to swim around. Now, they actually had a $60 betta. I'm not going to tell you which store this was, but uh, the other day I went in, and it's in a little bowl. I don't mean the ones that they sell them in. I mean something that you have to purchase and pay $40 for. It doesn't have a filter. It's just a friggin' bowl. I'm sorry. I mean, the fish had nowhere to go. They got a little plant sticking in the middle of it. It's it's like, it was, I'm not sure it was six inches high. You know, seriously. Or six inches from side to side. I, I'm sorry. I, I disagree with that. Uh, that's just my opinion, but anyway. I don't care how cheap something is or how expensive it is. It needs to be treated like family or like you would want to be treated, or you want the fish, or the anything, to feel comfortable, to be happy. 
you know, I've heard many people say, well, I'm not going to let my dog control my house or my cat to sit on the furniture or anything like that. You know, it's my house. I pay the bills. They don't pay them. Yeah, okay. Well, then you don't need animals. I'm sorry. The To me, the animal is not there. Well, that's my opinion. But the animal is not there just for us. I mean, I enjoy my pets when they are happy. That's the bottom line. So I try to do what I can to make the pet happy. And that's where I derive my pleasure from, is seeing something else having a good life. Okay, enough speech for the day. Here's uh, this guy who's not been out for a while. He saw the camera and left immediately. Uh, I almost didn't think he was in there for a few days because he was hiding so much. Anyway, this is his tank, another 10 column. Uh, very, you know, a lot of caviness. As you can see, he's disappeared already. <laughs> he's up behind that plant. Uh, but anyway, that makes him feel comfortable, makes him happy. That's my goal. Now this, I've just cleaned out, uh, rearranged a little bit. Not dramatically. But a little bit and uh oh the white one that you saw over there a minute ago with the blue stripes uh that this was his tank he's in a larger tank now uh, this has got the coolie loaches and some shrimpers there you go and uh and so i will be looking next week uh, probably at pet smart uh, uh their fish come in on thursdays uh, for maybe a new inhabitant of this but this is a 10 gallon with a divider, so you've got one on each side. I've also moved, let's see, oh, there he is in the back. Okay, this is the little dragon scale that I had over in a different tank yesterday uh, when I was made a video or whenever it was, but he has been moved to this tank. I kind of rearranged this a bit, put a big rock in here so it can hold back some sand for this plant. I also wanted a different place for this to sit on. So it's sitting on a piece of uh, spider wood in the back. Now this plant here is java fern glued to a rock. You can see the rock right there. Okay. Uh, and he went in here late last night. I just woke up in the middle of the night and got a wild hair. <laughs> Work on my dicks. So anyway, this is the little baby dragon scale. He is tiny, tiny. I mean, he's beautiful, but he is small. Now he came from Pet Smart. He was, uh, actually, I bought him at the exact same time as that little female bale tail you saw a few minutes ago. He loves this piece of wood and this plant. He gets right up in there and goes to sleep sometimes. Anyway, I mean, he's just, he's, to only be put in last night, he has really learned this tank, I tell you. So he, he's a joy to watch. Uh, he's in the back there. Anyway, this was rearranged a little bit. Pretty much it's half of a 10, so it's five gallons on each side. And uh, he is very tiny, and I think that's plenty of room for him. You can see the scale that he is back there compared to the tank. Okay, now this guy was in that side of the 10 gallon that you just looked at. Uh, he came, he was uh, put over here. I think he, he's very pretty. Now this is just a veil tail from a pet supermarket. Now their bell tails are five forty nine. But I his coloring is just gorgeous. <coughs> so yes he's an inexpensive fish but he is beauty. Beautiful. Okay. His side was rearranged a little bit last night as well. And uh so it's you've seen it before but I kinda moved uh actually to get some of the fish out of here there were some little ones over here i didn't want bothering him and i had to take everything out of here <laughs> to get to him uh anyway i'll show you them in just two seconds they're on the right side of this 20 long okay let me back off and show you his full size there his his full area i mean this is basically 10 gallon hold on let me back up this is a 20 gallon tank got a divider in the middle so there's 10 on each side now this one hasn't changed much. I did put that uh, Nubius in there uh, last night. And the guy that lives in here is sitting on the filter in the back. He does that an awful lot uh, when he's not running around looking for food. He's the dark blue with white uh, trim on his fins. I'm sorry he's not 
too active right now, but you've seen him before. But let me see if I can find the... Well, I don't see him right now. Huh. I put three little tetras in here last night. I'll be done. I don't see a one. Uh, from the left side. I thought, because I have a ton, as you can see, there's a ton of uh, little gobies, there's a ton of, uh, well, not a ton. I've got two, uh, uh, I don't know, synchronous there you see swimming around. There's another bumblebee goby to the his right. Uh, there's a several little, I don't know if you can see them, little uh, pygmy poor cats. They, well, they're all over there in the back, but anyway, you've seen them before, I think. But there's a lot of little, they're little, but there's a lot of fish in here. So I moved the three, there's another auto right there. I don't know why I'm not seeing these guys. Uh, the three little tetras I moved. Oh, there's, there's a blue boy. There he is. Isn't he beautiful? Now, he's supposed to be, he was sold as a placat. Uh, but just with a placat, uh, half moon, I call him a full moon. Because look at those darn fins. He's almost a full size better. He's big. But he was only 10 bucks at Pet Smart. I'm afraid he would have been a lot more at Pet Supermarket, but... Again, they're very good to me over there. I buy all my plants and wood and all that kind of stuff at Pet Supermarket. And I do occasionally buy, uh, uh, bettas. Uh, well, I'm just not seeing these tetras this morning. Well, they were there when I was feeding them this morning. An hour or two ago. Okay, well, we're not going to worry about it right now. Okay. Uh, the little white pacat that I had in here, I have moved to my right. I'm going to show you him in a second. But there's nothing in here right now except shrimp. And I have decided that uh, since he's going to grow a little bit, I'm going to I'm going to put uh, look for another female to put in here. This is a two and a half. I don't like to put full size in there. Okay, this is a little white pacat, my newest one. Now, back to the price, uh, these, uh, even at Pets, Pet Smart, these are 20 bucks, 19.99 for the male placats. Uh, and anything really pretty, uh, you know, like koi, anything. Uh, anyway, these are 16.95 at, uh, Pet Smart, excuse me, excuse me, supermarket, Pets, maybe I'm saying it wrong. Okay, Pet Smart. These are the only thing that I think are more expensive than Pet Supermarket. They're twenty bucks, but at Pet Supermarket, they are sixteen ninety five, and they get some very unusual. This to me is gorgeous. He's pure white with blue trim. He just got in here late last night, so uh, he's still exploring the tank and. Might be a little confused at the moment, but uh, it, it is twice the size of what he was in. This is a five gallon. So, and I think it's just escaped beautifully. It's got all kind of caviness going on back in there. Uh, there's little white dots you see there. Those are sna uh, near right snail eggs. They can't hatch in fresh water, but boy, they make a mess putting them around and everything. Anyway. I tried to scrape them off a few minutes ago and I think I scratched my glass. Uh, okay. Anyway, that's that. I'm getting ready to show you my last two bettas. Uh, these both... Let me back off. This is a 20 high. Uh, divider in the middle. Uh, more colorful one on the right. With the red and blue. Look at that. Isn't he gorgeous? Both of these are from... Uh, at supermarket. Where'd the little boy go? There he is. Okay. Now he's black and white. He's got a lot of personality. Very friendly. He comes out every time he sees me. I just love him. He, he's just, he's nifty keen. Yeah, I'm pretty. I'm a pretty boy. And he seems happy. Uh, 
they've got 10 gallons on each side. As I said, this is a, let me back off. This is a 20 high. It's 20 inches high. It's a, a 20 inches uh, from side to side, uh, 10 and a half back, and uh, 20 high. And uh, so each side has 10 gallons. So they upgraded from the two and a half to the 10. Seemed to appear pretty happy. Uh, I just fed them so they're still kind of looking around for food. He's back there in the plant. Uh, that's a beautiful piece of wood and plant back there. Isn't that gorgeous? Okay. So I'm going to go to this side and work on it quits. Thank you so much for watching. I hope this helps. Uh, I hope you enjoy the videos. Please take care of yourself. This is Ogles Fisherman signing out. Take care. Have a wonderful day. Bye-bye. Thanks again.